I feel like I'm always starting my videos in the car these days. I'm just outside Dick's Sporting Goods. I'm going to do a DIY. Um, I'm creating a basketball planter. Here are some pictures of what I'm trying to create. I thought this was super cute. I saw some like on Etsy and there's some other companies that sell them, but they're pretty expensive. I didn't want to pay like 50 to 100 or over $100 for this basketball planter. So I was like, okay, I'll just make it myself. So I'm going into Dick's Sporting, Sporting Goods now to get the basketball. Here is the outfit of the day. I'm wearing my Adidas hat, a black crop top, I have on some blue jeans that are ripped, my fila shoes, and a plaid shirt tied around the waist with Marc Jacobs. Okay, let's go get the basketball. Oh, they actually have like a lot of options. I think that this pink one could be really cute. This one is kind of like retro. So I just got the basketball. It's it actually looks really big, but it's um, the smaller size and it was $10.99. So that's a great deal. And now I'm gonna go to Lowe's and look for a plant that will fit inside. There are so many plants here. I'm looking for little ones that will fit into the basketball and that have like a planter already, like at least a plastic one. You're not gonna be able to see the planter that it's in, but something that will be round this which is super cute that I think I'm just gonna get for my side table it's only $12 hey guys so I'm back at home it's actually been a few weeks because I did not have time to do this DIY so I'm finally sitting down to do it let me show you what I got as far as the plants and then we'll get started so this is the plant that I got to put into the basketball um, it's pretty small i'll show you with the basketball in a second and put them side by side it's been a few weeks that i've had this and it did have some browning before i bought it just like a little bit and i am not the best plant caretaker i'm really trying to get better um i'm really trying to get better at that so i'm working on it but yeah i don't know what this plant really needs but i might have to ask someone yeah and then I did also buy this plant that's in the pot just for um, my side table, just to have a little bit more greenery. Um, I think I overwatered this one a little bit. <laughs> so I'm just gonna have to nurse these back to health somehow. Okay, so this is everything that I think that I need for this DIY. I have the basketball, I have this cord craft cord that i bought on amazon i'll link it below i use this for another diy as well for the shorts um the samaria lee inspired shorts that i made i have the plant i have a piece of paper a pen and scissors so what i'm going to do is i'm going to trace the bottom of this plant on the paper cut it out and then put it on the basketball so i know how big i need to make the um the hole in the basketball. how you want the basketball to hang. Um, I'm gonna cut the hole on the top so that the cord can kind of go along the lines of the basketball and hang like this. Um, but I've also seen them hanging like this, so it's really just up to you and how you prefer it. So I cut the circle and I cut it a little bit too small on purpose just because I don't wanna make it too big and then the plant fall through. So I'm just slowly cutting 
a little bit more and a little bit more and testing it and taking the plant out and putting it back in to make sure that the hole is the right size to hold this and it's not gonna fall through. Okay, so I just put the plant in the hole. I was really careful not to cut too much and it fits pretty perfectly. Um, so the lip of this plastic planter just hangs over where I cut the basketball because if you cut it too far, then it's gonna sink in. You're gonna be really disappointed because you're just gonna have to start over. So that's what I've got right now. So what I did to tie the macrame is I just took four pieces. I started with six and it was too many because of the way that they were, they were gonna suffocate this little plant. <laughs> it needs room to grow and thrive. So four is better. Um, I've seen people do it with three as well, but I just tied four pieces. Um, I tied them on the bottom and then I tied it on the top as well and made a little loop with the macrame. And right now, these are the only hooks that I have. I would like to get a ceiling hook um, and then that way the plant is not leaning against the wall and it'll have space um, on the back side as well. 360 space, but this is what it looks like. It turned out pretty well. Um, did I drop the plant while I was doing this? Possibly. There might be dirt on the floor. But yeah, this is what it looks like. So yeah, I'm happy with the way it turned out. Um, I definitely want to get a ceiling hook so that the plant has more room to grow on either side because it's up against the wall right now, which is not ideal. Like I said, I'm not great with plants. Um, I'm sure there are people who would do a lot better and they would thrive a lot more than with me, but I'm going to take care of you, little buddy. Don't you worry. I'm going to do my best. You're going to thrive here, give you water, all of that good stuff and sunlight. You're near the window, so you should be good. They say if you talk to your plants, it helps them grow. You know, have you heard that yet? I don't know. I mean, I'll be doing it regardless, so hopefully it helps. I hope you guys really like this video and it helps you to do your own basketball planter DIY. Um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Don't you worry, little guy. You're going to thrive. You're going to have a great life in here with me. You might be a little too close to the radiator. We might have to find you a new home <laughs> so your basketball home doesn't melt. Oh my. This is what happens when you live alone in a pandemic. You start talking to your plants. <laughs>